All right, so keeping up with that. So we got our barrier, check. Is there anything to distribute? Yes, there is. So again, 15, don't worry about it. 27, don't worry about it. Just look at minus four and in parentheses n plus two. So we have our negative four and our n plus our negative four and our negative two. Negative four times n, well, that's negative four n. Negative four times negative two, well, four times two is eight. Two negatives make a positive. Now I can add in my 27. Now I can add in my 15. So notice how I put them exactly where they were. I didn't move them, I didn't do anything extra. I just put them where they were. So again, 27, not even fussing with it yet. Looking at this side, what can I put together? Is there anything that goes with the 15? The eight, so what's 15 plus eight? 23. So I have 23 minus 4n, and then bring down your 27. Okay, so we did our distributed and we did our combining like terms. Now we're just solving a two-step equation. This is what I wanna get alone, what's standing in my way? The 23, how do I move it? Subtract. How do I get the n alone? Divide by negative four. So n equals negative one, okay? Try to do number four. Try to do it, just attempt it. It's very similar to number three. Pause the video, try it, and come back. Good morning, staff. We will just be on Zoom this morning. We'll be on Zoom this morning. Um, going through some Naviance training with uh, Mr. McGrann. So uh, whenever you get a moment in the next couple of minutes, please just jump on Zoom. Uh, and we will go Welcome through. Welcome back. last about 30 minutes or so this morning. That so, doesn't go. That doesn't go. So we have negative 3 and an M plus negative 3 and a negative 4. That makes it negative 3M. Negative 3 times 4 is 12. That's going to be a positive. Bring down my 6M bring down my 33. Did that, did that. Now combine like terms, we should have said, well, these two can go together. Six minus three is three M. Add my plus 12 and that equals 33. Solve for M, you should have subtracted 12 on both sides. And then divide it by three. So M equals seven. That's what you should have gotten. All right, awesome job.